Good morning. I'm Shirley Bjork, and we've been watching a movie. Today, Waiting for Superman from documentary director Davis Guggenheim. Guggenheim explores how the United States is slipping in world rankings in education. He puts a spotlight on families who are choosing to enter into charter school lotteries, hoping to secure a win that will spare their children from the public school system. Our story opens with the director talking about how once upon a time he had a very different perspective. You see, in 1999 he had completed another documentary about teachers in their first year that were succeeding. This left him with optimism and full faith in the public school system. Now we flash forward 15 years later. He's a father who's driving his children to their private school across town. He looks out the window, sees three public schools, and what he sees fills him with apprehension. He comes to this revelation. We're lucky. We have a choice. But now here comes the haunting question. What happens to those that don't? Next, we're introduced to five children. Three girls, Bianca, Emily, and Daisy, and two boys, Anthony and Francisco, of the Esparza, Hills, and Jones families. They're different ages, different grade levels, and from different regions of the United States. We get to connect to them in their natural elements. We see them going to their schools going through metal detectors and crowded classrooms with teachers who can't give them more attention. We hear about their dreams when they come home from school. In one very poignant scene, one of the children tells us, when I grow up, I'm going to become a doctor. Her mother says she's already trying to do her college application essay, even though that's many years away. Think about this dilemma. You're either the parent of a child who's smart and hardworking. Do you want your child to not achieve their dreams simply because you couldn't give them anything more than a public school education? This harsh reality is facing more and more parents in our country today. Next, we have an explanation of how the United States is falling in education from various education experts. Two of them have created successful reformations in Harlem, New York, in Washington, D.C., a former Teacher of the Year explains to us the teacher tenure system. And we have a creator of a charter school associations that he sits there and explains to us that charter schools succeed because they give children the most important gift, time. Our story is a subject that's something that we should be concerned about. The people in the film are people we can relate to. The story builds up in a timeline that kept you engaged from start to finish. At the end, you were really rooting for them. You felt the pain of the families who were not chosen and the happiness of those that were. It should be noted that there are some things in this film that may concern you. You may be disturbed by seeing teachers who are sleeping or playing cards and hearing a story about a teacher who puts a student's face in a toilet may enrage you. It should also be noted that we do not have links to verify the information that they are claiming. There is no side-by-side -side comparison between the charter schools and the public schools, so therefore this documentary does tend to slant more towards a charter school bias. I have just given you a summary of Waiting for Superman. Overall, I liked it and I gave it a thumbs up. And I commend it for bravery. Bravery, you ask? Well, it asks this important question. Are we as smart as we think we are? Wait, please, don't kill a messenger. I agree, we are creatives, and I agree we are confident. But think about this fact. If we're 38th in the world, does that sound like we're the best in education? Well, we might think need to think about that. So now that you've heard this, go ahead, grab your family, stream Waiting for Superman on Netflix, and keep your Kleenex ready. Often, when someone wins the lottery, somebody's crying. We won't say who. Thank you.